Do you guys miss me? Yeah, I know it's uh, it's been a while, and I'm sorry about that. But uh, kind of after the national, just life got a little crazy for me, so uh, took a couple weeks off. But uh, excited to be back with a, a soccer break of one of my favorite products, which is Tops Merlin Chrome. Uh, this year, pretty good rookie checklist. Get an auto per box. Seems like about three to four numbered cards per box. Each box is running about two hundred and fifteen ish dollars or so and those come in 12 box cases with the incentive of uh, two different types of case hits. So you have like a match ball autograph, which features a piece of a, a game used ball from a Champions League match, or you could hit the Renaissance uh, cards. Those are kind of similar to your stained glass hits out of Panini Mosaic. So without further ado, let's go ahead and break into this one. Hopefully we'll come away with one of those match ball autographs. All the big names seem to be on the autograph checklist for this in terms of Holland. Uh, Messi and Ronaldo, so would love to hit a Messi with how well he's playing currently in the MLS. Each box with these, uh, you get, I believe it's 18 packs. Let's double check that. So there's six there. We got six there and six more there. So yeah, should be about, like I said, three, three to four numbered cards, the one autograph. And uh, yeah, let's hope to hit something big. Um, have done well with this set in the past. I've always loved the design too. I'm um, going to kind of hide the back card because that's typically been in the past where the, the top hit is. So there's your design. I, I think it looks super nice. Uh, the centering is pretty great um, on this first card, at least, of Jared Bowen. Um, in years past, the centering kind of hit or miss, uh, but I do like that it's a full just square border, like the design, like how, you know, up here you've got the Europa League logo. Um, and then their name and their team here in their position. Just a nice kind of looking card there. Uh, on your back, you've got the did you know fact about each player. Uh, I believe this is a 150 card set too. So, you know, you're not always going to get everybody. Jack Graylish there. And our first insert is a under 21 of a guy. I'm not even going to pretend like I know his name. Um, he's been in other products this year though. So you never know. Hopefully somebody pretty decent. Soccer season just getting underway, too, so a good time for, you know, even though this is a product from last year, for this stuff to drop as people kind of get excited for all the, the leagues to come back, um, you know, in hopes of some of these young guys from this year's stuff. Ooh, we got a green shimmer coming up in the back. I believe those are to 99. Uh, Pulisic on Chelsea still. And ah. A goalie. Well, at least it, if it's a goalie, it's a, a high-numbered one. I'd rather have our lower-numbered, hopefully, stuff uh, not be goalies. Uh, not Nothing wrong with uh, Oblak. But, uh, yeah, goalies don't really move the needle when it comes to soccer sales. Unlike in hockey, where a goalie card actually is uh, not a bad hit sometimes because those goalies do uh, immense some popularity. That's kind of funny. Quentin Merlin in Merlin. Nice. And then uh, Nicolo Barella is our base refractor. Nothing crazy here yet. Again, I do like the design. It's a product I do like the design pretty much every year they've done it. Um, but it does seem like, from what I've seen, from just a QC standpoint, um, cards seem much better centered this year than years past. Neymar, that one is a little off center top to bottom. And we've got... You're a wizard, Harry! Harry Kane. Merlin's Masters, maybe? Mages? Something? It's hard to tell. It's kind of blocking his head. Um, does not tell us what that one is from, specifically, in terms of the insert set. But a cool-looking card, and, you know, if you're going to get a Merlin card, it might as well be Harry Potter Kane, right? That was so cheesy. I'm sorry, everyone. So sorry. So, 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 so. Very, 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 very sorry. We got another uh, numbered card here. Blue Shimmer. Those were 275 last year. We'll see if they keep that consistent. Lucas Gorna. Mark Cassano. Martinelli. Uh, which way are we going? Tottenham midfielder. Probably uh, Kulaveski. Okay, nice. Not a bad one. Look, uh, really promising younger player. Uh, you know, nice blue on blue-ish action there. Um, yeah, looks super cool. Love the uh, the shimmer design. Uh, kind of wish they were numbered as low as the Panini ones, but that one is 275, as predicted. So we got two numbered already. 
Maybe we'll have a hot box here and hit more. Uh, but kind of weird also to have two in the same stack. Don't really like that. Oops. There you go. Well, we got a Isa Kabore coming up. Um, lots of new names in this. And, and to be frank, I didn't really familiarize myself with the checklist. So if one of these ends up being pretty good, uh, let me know in the comments. Because, um, yeah, they, they kind of reloaded the rookie checklist. Some of the better guys who were in like Chrome UEFA and have been in stuff throughout the year are still in this. But they've also added uh, some other new names. This one uh, being one of them. Isa Kabore. Now he's a defender. So, you know, again, not something super uh, collectible um, out there, but sometimes they are, you know, you never know if you're going to get the next Virgil van Dyke. So we will go ahead and, and sleeve this since it's a rookie refractor. Seems like a younger kid. Uh, one thing I don't uh, like about Merlin though, is, uh, you know, it'd be nice to know just the, uh, like see the, the birth year on there that kind of, you know, can add to the hype sometimes if Say it's like somebody who's you know 18 or younger because typically that is their first card appearance in a product. Uh, we got another rookie refractor coming up here. So yeah, again, just new people. Simone uh, Edranja, Edringa was not in previous sets, and we've got Matteo Cancel Cancellari uh, from Lazio. Um, yeah, and he's a guy that I don't believe has been in other sets, so. You know, this one could be pretty solid. Lazio, a good club. Um, seems like it seems like it would be an Italian name. Hopefully that's not offensive to anybody. Um, but uh, yeah, so Refractor, he's a forward uh, on a on a, one of the, Italy's best teams. So that's a nice looking card. Not sure if it's any good, but, you know, we hope so. We certainly hope so. All right, we got another, it looks like another one of those younger, under 21s. Kobe Mano, nice for my Manchester United Red Devils. Nice one there. That one almost looks, and it's probably just because of the team color. Yeah, no numbering on that. I just thought maybe because the red, uh, that this was like a red refractor, but it is not, sadly. That would have been a very nice one for myself. All right, keep on trucking. So, yeah, you guys can see, I mean, all kinds of rookies. It looks like we got our last potentially our last numbered card. It is a rookie. It is Monaco. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so nice. We got him twice. Uh, Manish Ekilochi. Sure. That's close enough, right? That one is a speckle. That one is to 150. Uh, 20 year old prospect signing a professional deal in the summer. Nine domestic first team appearances. Hopes to gain some European experience this term. So that's a nice looking one, like the speckle design. Kind of weird to have the numbering on front, but you know, I guess with it being right under the logo there, um, it's pretty easy to spot if the card is numbered. And sometimes that is nice because you know, any more people do display them in a PSA case. So if the numbering's right on the front, you you know, when you show it off, you you know. Um, not really sure anything about this kid, but uh, we will top load just because he is younger. Um, Monaco, obviously the club that. Uh, and Bappe started with, so have had some decent uh, talent come through there. Um, so yeah, hopefully that's a good card. Got another refractor, Musiala, Noni, Luka Jovic. So like Nikola Jovic, Jokic, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I don't think he's the same guy. Uh, I have not seen this guy before in a product, but there's no rookie card logo here. Um, yeah, no idea. But anywho, cool. Refractor, somebody I haven't seen. You never know. Last year, they had a couple guys in this um, who were uh, rookies, but not labeled rookies. Um, just because I think they'd been in like Tops Now and stuff, and Tops considers that. Wayne Rooney! Nice. That's pretty cool. <laughs> One of my favorite players of all time, Wayne Rooney. Maybe it's like... Merlin's mass ma maestro. I don't know. You guys tell me. I'll have to look at the checklist. Love the uh, throwback United kit on that card. Uh, nothing special, obviously, as we already hit a Harry Kane. So it seems like something you get a couple of per box, but a nice looking insert nonetheless. And I think I just saw our autograph. I think I just saw our autograph. Kobe. So he's in the base set as well. Barella and. From Celtic, it's a defender. Hopefully it's not an auto. It is Cameron Carter Vickers. Why do I know that name? I think he's been around a minute. Is he American? 
Oh, gosh. I feel so ashamed of myself right now. Also, okay, no, that's not damage. This is like shading on the card. Um, yeah, that's not what we're looking for. <laughs> so, uh, so far, we've hit three numbered cards, one potentially decent rookie, um, an autograph of somebody again. I know the name. Like, I, I remember this guy, but I don't remember him playing for Portugal or in the Portuguese league, I should say. Um, yeah, pretty meh hit, in my opinion. Uh, another young under 21, Cole Palmer. One was one of the chase guys to get last year in terms of rookie stuff. All right. Let's see. Ooh, what is that? Look at that border. It's got like the Merlin logos and stuff on it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's see what that is. Gavi. Idiomi and a Juve Samuel Ealing Jr. Yeah, that thing is awesome looking. Um, the packs this year don't have any sort of checklist info on them, so I'm not sure what this is called, but you guys can see all the Merlin logos in the back here. That is an awesome looking card. Um, how short printed that is, I'm not really sure. Um, but very, very, very cool regardless. So... Uh, yeah, and nice that it's a, a rookie, too. Albeit, uh, I think uh, Ealing Jr. has been in other stuff this year. He wasn't super high up the list of people that people were kind of like chasing, but um, looks cool. So, I don't know. I'm happy with that. Nice looking card for the collection, nonetheless. We got a rookie silver or refractor, I should say. Carvalho, that's a good one. One of the better guys. Uh, I believe he moved to the Bundesliga this year on a loan from Liverpool. Uh, Liverpool played a lot to get him. Um, he's still pretty young, so there's still promise there. Is that a red? Oh. That's like probably to five. Yeah. Let's go. All right. Cool. Was not expecting another numbered card, as I said. All right. Let's see. It's a rookie. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Man City forward. Oh, my gosh. If it's Julian Alvarez. Oh, that would be fire. Oh, it's not a real red. What is that border? Why would they do that to us? Okay, this is still a really good card. I hate to, like, have overreacted. So, Julian Alvarez. Maybe, like, rose gold? Oh, that's a dirty joke, Tops. Very, very nice card, regardless. Julian Alvarez to 299. Uh, I'm going to call this the FU Red Refractor. <laughs> oh, how disheartening. Am I crazy? Like, that's red, right? I think they had, like, red shimmers last year, and I, I want to say they were to, like, five. Maybe it was a red wave. Yeah, this has got to be like rose gold. God, I hate when they do stuff like that. Man, they hate me. Stupid tops. Whatever. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Don't want to peeve off the card gods. Julian Alvarez, though, definitely one of the, the better rookies to get. Uh, should be in a pretty good position to, to do some good damage this year. Obviously, stellar in the World Cup for Argentina. Kind of had a ho-hum uh, first-year campaign with City, but, you know, hopefully kind of grows into more of an opportunity. Nonetheless, a numbered rookie, one of the better rookies. And yeah, we'll, we'll take it. All right. Kind of a back of an insert here I haven't seen yet. Yeah, man, they got all kinds of dudes in this. Saluski and Ageless Alchemy of Marcel de Sally. I, I hope I said that right. I feel like I know this guy's name. I mean, he's one of the dudes on this is like a legends checklist. So um, anyway, those do look really nice. I mean, heck, you could have made that a case hit insert. Super slick. Nice design there. And last but not least, will it be another fake out to five card? We shall see. Nope, it is not numbered. It's just a regular refractor. Man, I really thought that Julian Alvarez was to five or to ten. What a bummer. Okay. Garnacho. Nice one for my United collection. That would have been a really cool one with the red on the red. Probably wouldn't have feel so bad about it being the 299. But yeah, definitely one of the chase rookies. Sergio Ramos and ending it up with a Jao Cancelo on Bayern. He used to play for City. 
Uh, I don't know if he's had Byron cards yet. So anyway, just a quick little recap. Uh, we did have the two numbered ones up here. Oblak, Kulvashevsky uh, to 75 to 350. The Julian Alvarez to 299. This really friggin' sweet Merlin refractor of uh, Samuel Illing Jr. The auto uh, Cameron Carter Vickers. Again, a name I know. I just like, I can't remember or place him. Is he on England? Is he on it? You, you guys tell me. You'll know. And then, uh, yeah, this nice uh, Monaco rookie to 150. So two numbered rookie cards, you know, and uh, again, like I said, three to four per box on average. Um, solid, yeah, like two two numbered rookies, uh, you know. Um, they probably both have to get PSA 10s for me to um, make a dent in that 215. Um, but, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Um Nice looking base set. Inserts look pretty cool. Would like to maybe have seen one more type of insert in there as opposed to, you know, getting like three or four of the under 21s. Um, but overall, I like the product. Super look, looks super nice, just like it does after, year after year. I love these. Um, I'll probably have to pick up some guys uh, in this. Like, I'd love to have a Garnacho one of these um, for my personal collection because I just think these things look awesome. They, I mean, just the logos in, this, in the back and stuff looks super cool. It reminds me so tops. Chrome this year had like a Topps um, refractor. Uh, I think it was called Topps Fractor or something like that. Those were to 75. Uh, again, this one not numbered, but uh, nonetheless, very, very, very cool looking. So uh, yeah, pretty average box as always on my channel. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. As always, um, hoping to kind of get back into the swing of doing these. Um, they might be posted a little bit later in the day, just as work has kind of picked up for me this time of year. Um, but I will try to to do more uh, breaks for you. Again, Julian Alvarez to 299, kind of the shining star of the break there, um, and some other solid stuff along the way too. So thanks again, guys, and uh, hope to see you around soon. Appreciate it.